Hi guys, it's Cornish Kayak Angler. Now it's been a little while since I've last put together a video, but I'm still here, I'm still kite fishing, and I'm still rigging up fishing kayaks. And today I'm here at Cornwall Canoes. It's a specialist kite fishing store here in the UK. And we're here to take a look at this kayak here. It's the popular Hobie Compass. And I've rigged it up for kayak fishing. So today we're gonna have a run through of all the stuff I've added to this kayak to rig it up into quite an impressive setup for kite fishing over here in the UK. And perhaps it'll give you guys some tips on how to rig up your own fishing kayak or your own Hobie Compass. So come on, let's take a look. So here we have the awesome Hobie Compass fishing kayak. It's a brand new 2024 model in the new June camo color. Looks really cool. And yeah, I've rigged it up for kite fishing. Uh, the person who will be using this, uh, they're mainly gonna be fishing on lakes and reservoirs, but also a spot of sea fishing as well. Let's just run through and have a look at all the accessories I've added to this kayak. Starting at the bow, we've got a Burley Pro Bumper Bro Bow Protector. So this is a hard plastic shield to protect the bow from scratches and knocks, particularly as you're coming into land or on a slipway where you might scuff the front of the kayak, it usually bears the brunt of any wear. Well, this is a, a stick-on plastic guard to protect the actual hull of the kayak. Really popular, really cool bit of kit, nice and easy to install. And I've just stuck this on using Sikaflex EBT Plus Clear. And yeah, it's solid on there. And that's gonna protect the kayak from any major knocks and scuffs at the bow. Moving back down the kayak, if I just lift up the mesh cover on the front here, you can see I've installed the circular twist and seal hatch. Now on the Hobie Compass as standard, this hatch is fitted to the center of the kayak, just in front of the seat. Now, a really popular upgrade on this kayak is to uninstall the circular hatch from here, install the rectangular hatch, which is larger and you can store more gear inside, and then move the circular hatch up the front here, which is uh, usually just blank top, it's just blank plastic. So. Um, by doing the hatch upgrade, you create a lot more storage room on your kayak. So we've got this circular hatch fitted at the front, twist and seal, opens up. Inside, I've got a bag, uh, and inside that is the battery for the fish finder. And I'll run through that shortly, but yeah, that's where the battery is stored for the fish finder in this kayak. Sort of pushes out of the way, and there's still more room in here to store gear if needed. But that closes nice and easily. We've got this mesh cover which goes over the bow where you could wedge some more gear underneath if you needed to. Quite a nice setup. So yeah, that rectangular hatch in the center. So yeah, I've had to uh, install that there. You end up having to cut a, a larger hole in the kayak to install this, but uh, makes it a much more usable space. So yeah, twist and seal hatch opens up. Inside this hatch, we have fitted a tackle management rack. And now these come as standard on the Pro Angler kayaks from Hobie. Uh, but they're easy to add to the uh, rectangular hatch kits if you're fitting them to other kayaks. And yeah, they uh, open up and present to you two of the Plano 3600 size waterproof tackle boxes. So yeah, really cool way just to keep all your, your laws and your terminal tackle right in front of you there in this centre hatch. And see as you open it, it sort of pivots and presents you the boxes so they're nice and easy to take out. Also in the hatch there's a hookless pocket here, rubber mesh pocket. Again, good for just wedging tools and bits of tackle inside, so it's right close uh, when you need it. So yeah, it's had the, the hatch upgrade there on the compass, rectangular hatch kit, the horizontal orientation one. Uh, you can get a vertical orientation one, but it's too tight to fit in this space with the seat. Um, but yeah, the horizontal one fits really well. Also in the seat area here, I've installed the hookless pockets. So uh, again, it's usually just uh, smooth plastic here, but uh, you can easily screw on these hookless pockets and then store any essential sort of tools and tackle, such as the, uh, the fish grips here. They just uh, slot in the, in the pockets, which is, yeah, a really handy space um, to add to this kayak. And got those installed on both sides. Nice and easy upgrade to make. They just simply screw onto the hull definitely worth doing if you have a Hobie Compass. We've got the Mirage Drive here, and we've added the Mirage Drive leash kit. So this is a, a way to tether your drive to the hull. 
in case of any accidents where you may come out of the kite, the kite turns over, if this was to somehow come out of its, uh, its slot, then at least it's leashed to the kayak. And that's clipped on a, a point here at the very front. Um, there was a standard kayak bungee button here, but I ended up taking that off and adding this little fitting. You might just be able to see that there. It's got a little hole in the top of it. And that makes it nice and simple to clip on the leash kit so it's tethered to the kayak. So that keeps your Mirage Drive leashed and secure. On the slide tracks of this kayak, We've got installed there a ram mount, ram rod, HD rod holder. It's on a, a dual T-bolt track base, which uh, yeah, just simply uh, installs to these rails, uh, the tracks here. But yeah, that's a quite a heavy duty rod holder. It's got a locking collar on top, so you can slide your rod in with your reel, lock it off uh, for bait fishing, or you can pivot it out for, for trolling as well. And on the back of this rod holder, you'll notice you can get an optional accessory for this, which is a GoPro mount. And it just clips in. You can just unclip that there. It's just a standard GoPro base fitting. It's moulded into this rod holder. Quite a nice little uh, addition, to be honest. But yeah, it allows you to clip this accessory in or just a standard GoPro mount. Clip it in there. But then, yeah, we've got full adjustability on the ball and socket ram mount system to, uh, to mount a GoPro. Quite a cool little addition there. But we've also got another camera mount fitted to this kayak and I'll show you that in a moment. Just quickly point out, we have an anchoring trolley, anchor trolley kit fitted to this kayak. Uh, it runs down the full length for the kayak down the side. Installed using pad eyes that are trifold rivet fitted to the to the back here because we have no access inside the kayak to do up nuts and bolts so a really strong fitting is to use trifold rivet so the little eyelets are installed using those we've got a yeah simple pulley clip to the pad eye at the back and yeah we've got the anchor trolley line running all the way along the kayak we've got a zigzag cleat fitted just back from the seat so it's just out of the way of the main fishing area where you may be pulling fish on the kayak but still within easy reach of the seat yeah it's just a simple zigzag cleat to lock off the anchor trolley line when needed i've covered installing anchor trolleys several times on my channel I'll pop a link in this video so you can uh, have a detailed look at how to install one of these to your kayak if you plan on anchoring up to fish and at the very front of this anchor trolley Again, it's same pad I fit in now. On here, I've used bolts through the hole because I've been able to gain access through that hatch that we installed. So just a slightly stronger fitting using bolts with uh, backing washers and nuts. That's installed there. Got a short length of bungee to a carabiner and pulley. And that length of bungee acts to keep the trolley nice and tight to the kayak so it's not slack and sloppy. Uh, so it makes the, the pulleys run nice and smooth. Um, and it, it, yeah, it just also acts as a bit of shock absorption within the system. If it's a bit choppy on the water and your anchor line's snapping about a bit, then uh, this bungee just helps take up some of that action. So that's the anchor trolley kit fitted to the kayak. Moving further back, we've got popular H crate installed in the rear tank well here. Hobie H crate, really popular crate for storing the gear inside. Super strong system. Uh, it's got four vertical rod holders, really handy for keeping your rods completely upright as you're traveling. And uh, it's great for storing all the big items of gear inside. Now this h crate has got this soft cover fitted, which is an optional accessory. But yeah, inside all the gear that you, you might need to take. So we've got the anchoring there to use with the anchoring system. And uh, I've got a few other bits in there just now. But yeah, you can store extra tackle boxes and extra gear in there for your day on the water. The really nice thing about the H crates is that the rails are made of what they call H-rail, Hobie H-rail. It's a 12-sided rail and Hobie make a number of mounts that you clamp to this rail. And here's one example. We've got a H-rail mini port mount. Onto this, you can add any rail blazer accessory such as this Camera Boom 600 here. So again, we can have a GoPro mounted off this top mount. It all works off friction joints, so you can just grab it and change the angle nice and easy 
when you're filming all your action on the water. Really nice little uh, system there. And what we've also put on this kayak is a way to quickly move your GoPro from this rear position pointing forwards to uh, the front of the kayak. So if I just take this out of its mount, it simply pops out as a little sliding lock collar on the mount. We've got a rail blazer track loader star port fitted at the very front of the tracks on the kayak. And we can easily just add the camera boom there during a session, lock it off. That's just got a sliding lock collar there. And now the camera is at the front of the kayak, so you can face back and catch the action or catch your, your big catch when you want to get a photo of yourself. So yeah, quite a nice little system there to easily switch the camera boom from the back to the front of the kayak. This person's also got a manual build pump that they're going to carry on the kayak. Quite a handy addition, just in case you were to get swamped on the kayak at all, or for some reason the hull was to be breached uh, and they started to get water in the hull. And you can use a manual build pump to quickly uh, empty water from the hull. Now it's sort of worst case scenario stuff, but uh, we like to be particularly safety conscious in the UK particularly. Um, so yeah, uh, handy to have a manual build pump. Weighs nothing. You can tether it to the side of your crate. You can chuck it in a hatch that's out of the way. But should the worst happen, you need to bail out your kayak, then at least you've got means to do that quickly and efficiently. At the back rail of the uh, H crate, also got another H rail mini port mount there. And to that, we've got installed rail blazer visibility kit. Now this is a safety flag, bright orange Dago safety flag. So it helps you be seen on the water to other water users. Yeah, it catches their eye. You just stand out a bit better. Um, so that'll be, yeah, flapping around, hopefully uh, catching the attention of any boats whizzing by or jet skis, uh, you know, give them a chance of seeing you. Um, but yeah, we've got the flag there and we've also got a all round white navigation light fit to the top of it. That's really handy for when you're fishing or pedaling about in low light conditions or at night so yeah rail blazer visibility kit fitted to the back of the kayak it's nice and high sits well above your head height so that you've got all round visibility to, uh, to anyone passing by you so we've got the h crate fitted there you can just see how that's tethered down it's tethered down to these pad eyes that you find on the corners of the cargo area at the back of the compass so that's all tethered down there nice and secure absolutely rock solid really good crate highly rate them on the back of the compass seat, we've got just velcroed on here is the, uh, it's the Vantage seat accessory bag. Now the Vantage seat accessory bag, it is designed for the Hobie Vantage seat, which is slightly different to the compass seat, but there's nothing to stop you using it with this seat because the Velcros just go around the frame of the seat at the top, Velcro to the bag, and that's on there nice and secure. It just gives you some extra storage right behind your seat. You know, you can pop your lunch in there, you pop a bottle of water in there, you could you know just put, pop any little bits and bobs that you might just need quick access to right behind you and again it just creates a little bit more storage space on this kayak now if we just move along this side of the kayak we come to the fish finder that we have installed now this is the Lawrence elite fs7 really nice fish finder it's all touch screen uh, you got down scan you got chirp sonar you've got full gps chart plotter um, you can add other transducers where it's side scan or live scanning sonar as well. But uh, with this one, we've got the HDI transducer, which gives you a uh, chirp sonar down scan imaging. Um, and yeah, it's all, all installed where the transducer is installed on the underside of the kayak in the low rinse ready scupper hole. Um, so if I just zoom under the kayak, you'll just see the black plate here. So beneath that, transducer is installed in there, really nice clean system nothing to damage you know it can't be damaged it's behind this protective shield so that's a really nice setup there yeah the wiring for the transducer then runs up through this scupper hole and it goes the wiring goes back into the hole through this little freeway through hole fitting here now that's supplied with the kayak you just have to install it when you get the kayak so you just have to use a hole saw bit cut a hole to size and yeah you can set it up run your wiring through so that passes the transducer wiring to the inside of the kayak 
and then you have to bring it back out so we're bringing it back out through another three-way through old plug kit which is installed in the side pocket here and i did actually install that prior to installing the pocket so it made it a bit easier to install um, but yeah that's there and you'll notice two wires coming out of that one because that's the transducer wire running to the back of the unit and also the power uh, cable running to the back of the unit so yeah they both run out of there and yeah plug into the back of the unit and how we've got this fish finder mounted on the kayak it's off the side tracks again it's using a ram mount system it's a 1.5 inch ball system nice and tough nice and solid quick release track base 1.5 inch ball to the double socket arm and then that's on the universal electronics mounting plate which again has 1.5 inch ball so it's a nice flat plate for the the cradle mount of the elite fs7 to sit on that's just bolted on with some stainless bolts m5 bolts but yeah nice setup with ram mount system it's all ball and socket technology so we can loose off this clamp and just move and twist and get that perfect angle for viewing the fish finder but as you can see there it's it's nicely just off the side of the kayak so that you're not impeding the action of moving the pedals backwards and forwards it's all nice and clear in this area but it's just off to the side so it's nice and easy to view from the seat you can see i'm back at the seat here you can you can view it you can reach it to control the fish finder quite a nice setup there but yeah and that then with the power was running the power leads running through that through hole seal up to the front of the kayak to that battery which i pointed out at the very start was inside that round hatch so that's covering most of the stuff i've added to this kayak it's a really nice setup really uh, nice bit of kit for yeah lake and reservoir fishing for pike and perch or for spot of sea fishing be it trolling for bass or anchoring up at anchor to catch all sorts of species but yeah really nice fishing kayak for uh, kite fishing here in the uk and if you want to get a kayak just like this or any fishing kayak rigged up get in contact with us at cornwall canoes uh, we're specialists in kayak fishing we've got all the gear to get you kitted out just like this be it for sea fishing be it for reservoir tournament fishing just get in touch with us and we can sort you out with an epic rig just like this okay guys so there we go that's the hobie compass rigged up ready for kite fishing really cool setup and I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Perhaps it's uh, giving you some hints and tips on how to rig up your own Hobie Compass or your own fishing kayak. Got any questions on the setup? Drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. And if you like the video, make sure you hit subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll be running plenty more videos just like this, rigging up fishing kayaks, getting them set up, ready so you can get out there, catch more fish on the water. Okay guys, thanks for watching.